Clement Adar, 1841 to 1925. He was a French aviation pioneer who built the first man carrying aeroplane show to take off under its own power. By profession, an electrical engineer, Clement Adder completed this machine, which he named Eol, in 1890. It was a bat-like monoplane with a wingspan of 14 meters, a length of 6.5 meters, and a wing area of 28 square meters. With an all-up weight of 296 kilograms, the eel was powered by a 20 horsepower four-cylinder four steam engine which drove a four-bladed tractor propeller. Clement Adder's Secret Flight Clement Adder's pioneering flight was made in secret on 9 October 1890 from the grounds of Chateau Perraer at Armin Villiers. He claimed that it covered a distance of 16 meters at the height of some 20 centimeters above the ground. Clearly this was no more than a powered up, but its significance was that for the first time a powered aeroplane had risen from level ground under its own power. As a flying machine, Eol had many disadvantages quite apart from its inability to make a sustained flight. Most notable of these was its lack of control surfaces, which led Clement Adder to comment on its instability. Furthermore, the bulky engine installation in front of the pilot's seats almost completely blocked off the pilot's view ahead. Clement Adder attempted to interest the French army in a twin-engine aeroplane, the Avion III, which spanned 16 meters and had an all-up weight of 400 kilograms. Unfortunately, it failed to leave the ground both times it was demonstrated at Satori near Versailles on 12 and 14 October 1897. In later life, Clement Adder was to claim that on the second occasion he completed a flight of over 275 meters. However, historians discounted all attempts of flight by Clement Adder.